okay, so yeah, unexpected encounter. On the way back, I actually came across a question mark situation where I clicked on the icon, the question mark, and suddenly out of nowhere, Captain Dolce appeared from our flashback scene and she's brought her cronies again for some more punishment. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to start a, um, well, yeah, I'm not expecting you to give up any either either as well. Yeah, I'm just really shocked because, yeah, I thought this only happened in second quests in New Game Plus, but... Yeah, I guess <laughs> the captain is not very happy to see us, nor we her. So, I guess we're getting a rematch, an unexpected one. Ooh, you've been naughty, haven't you? Uh, I'll be quiet. I'm supposed to fight this? Yeah, I'm shocked too. But we're gonna have to begin the rematch right now. Yeah, this stuff they took caught me off guard. Oh, she goes to the back side. And then Does it feel good? Uh, don't you start that again there, miss nasty piece of crap you. Alright. Pound away on the captain. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to make a point to heal ourselves. And yeah, the attack is against Heat, which not was much of a surprise. Ow! I guess we're gonna have to go hand to hand here with Heat. No choice here. Take that! Throw it again! Oh wow! The captain has stepped up her game. She is out of revenge, and she's not afraid to let anyone know about it. Alright. Oops, no, wrong. That was wrong. And... And then he gets stronger. In fact, what am I doing? Star cookie, please. And then we'll... Oh, never mind. Uh, hold on, Polka. Alright, she held on. She did hold on. Which is fine by me, I will take it. No choice, really. And then... Alright, that's one down. Spirit's pathway, quickly. And then... Knock you back. Now you will sleep. Yeah, resist that attack. Resist this attack. Ah, huh, yes. You are certainly a sight for sore eyes, Captain Dolce. I thought rematches with you only occurred in New Game Plus, but apparently that's not the case. Does it feel good? Oh, yeah, get around the dead guy, please. That would be very helpful. Alright, Spirit Pathway. And then... Knock you down. Or at least try to. Here we go. Take this. Tell me, does it itch? Does it hurt? Tempest Swirl! Oh no, we can't... Oh, you're still going at it? Well, thankfully, your delay results in advanced warning, so I don't lose too much as a result. Boom! Man, that'll really pound you for a while. Take that! Now you will sleep. Ow! False start. That's half of my health. Shut up! Just shut up with that. Alright, she's hunched over. Kind of pretty, huh? yeah. Take this. Take this, take this, take this. Over and over again until you are down for good this time, Captain Dolce. There I win. Again. Yeah. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that at all. Oh, man. Caught off guard by a rematch with Captain Dolce. Yikes, but nonetheless... Frederick gets an experience level. We also gain a pocket watch. <laughs> so Frederick is now up to 29. 
And then Polka will soon be up to level 30. Yeah, you lo lose again. Yeah, I suppose I'll spare your lives today. You haven't had the last of me. Well, hopefully in this LP I have. Oh my goodness. Jeez, she never learns, does she? Hey, she might mentioned something about a treasure, didn't she? Yeah, it's the one I'm actually trying to get to, actually. Hey, I know! This is a treasure map! That pirate captain came here looking for treasure, that's gotta be it! You think so? So we get pirate paper number two. So yeah. So yeah, since this was an off-guard rematch, I guess we will actually put this at the start of a new episode. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Eternal Sonata. And so yeah, we were caught off guard by a rematch by Captain Dolce because my curiosity got the best of me. But we prevailed again, and so now we can continue on. Let's see where we stand with everyone. Well, we know who needs the healing. That is not in doubt here. No question that it's Frederick, clearly. Alright, so, now, continuing on, back towards path number one. Because, yeah, we're still going through the twists and turns here, still. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I ha just happened to catch something that I had never seen in playing this game since 2008, every year since 2008. I had never noticed that before. And, unsurprisingly, he beats long-range ability, hits the Petrified Turtle. Or, well, actually, in this case, it looks more like a Petrified Beaver. Alright. Yeah, still reeling over the fact that we had just had that rematch occur. If I wasn't so shocked by it, I would have actually did the tried to do the characters' voices for it, but... Regardless, Polka gets up to experience level 30. Yeah. Yeah, still shocked by that, very much so. Okay. I want to go after you first. I'd rather keep the um, fishies out of the light for now. So let's start pushing you over as best as we can. Okay, not pushed over completely. And let's see if we beat can take out this fish. No, that's not his intention. He changes targets. Ah, it's still my turn. And that's fine by me, quite honestly. And then... A long way to go, but the damage is done. Mission accomplished in that regard. And then change targets, as I knew you would. Alright. Oh, it's looking weaker. Unfortunately, these two enemies are too far away, so I won't be able to execute a double play. And, yeah. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Oops, nope, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And it turns out it didn't do that much. But B picks up the slack. Oh, man. Still in shock. Let me buy, okay? Alright, go, Polka. Let's see how much damage you can cause this time around. Okay, we can't eliminate it. But maybe if things go my way. Nope. Now you will sleep. Um I might as well come over and just do that and then. Yeah, the way it was set up, I might as well just have gone in with a normal attack. As far as melee was concerned. Alright, moving on. And we should be getting close back to the original path. You foolish creatures! Alright, go. Go, Miss Polka. Take these fools down. This should be enough to defeat it, and it is. Alright, hurry, Frederick. Let's see how much damage you can cause. Not enough for the kill, but maybe if we can 
have beat eliminated this this thing. We can get a double play through him. Yes, we can. That was a piece of cake. It was. No problems there at all. So yeah, we finally made it back to the converge point, but of course, one more monster to defeat. And maybe a double play possibility. Let's see what we can do. I should definitely be able to cause good damage with another wave. Good. Alright, might as well just shoot at one because that's already the best we can do. Now let's tenderize these suckers. And I guess we're out gonna have to get some separation. Oh, and there's a light antique, I didn't even or fire antique, I didn't even notice it. Alright. Now bring it on, I dare ya. But the problem is, my back is now turned. Ugh. Nice. Go, Polka. Yeah, she doesn't know which way to aim. Maybe we get the double play here? Yes, Polka! Polka with the double play, and then Frederick with the cleanup. Alright, gotta love a double play. Alright, going left now. This is the path I wanted to take before. This is where we start to get out of the heat. And this is where we're going to get our hands on some treasure that you can't get by going to the right. So we're going to make this long walk. This very long walk. And now we're going to start dropping down. And as we drop down, we will start to see treasure chests. So, just keep dropping down. And yes, here are our four treasure chests. You can only get them by going this direction. We get a snow puff cookie. We get a diamond clover, which is an enhanced version of the club clover. We get our hands on a celestial hourglass. And finally, we get our hands on a goddess bouquet. So yeah, all these things you could only get by going this direction. Drop down. Keep on dropping. That's yeah, a lot of falling, and Polka's knees must be killing her. Alright. Almost done dropping. Yeah, and here is our merge point. Yeah, just to let you know, if you came from this direction, yeah, this is where I had ended off at the end of the previous episode on this path. If you went down this path, you would have to avoid, if you wanted to, all these jumping fish. All these flying fish that keep coming in and out of the lava. But, yeah, since we didn't have to worry about that, we can move on. We can go ahead and take the save, because I would definitely need to. And so I'm going to take a quick time out, and I will be right back, and I'll be... We will continue on and make our way out of here. Okay, so after the timeout, we have proceeded to heal everyone to get them back up to maximum. And so, we can now leave this place. Now, you're probably wondering why am I healing myself? Well, I pretty much gave the spoiler right there. So, it's time for us to leave the Wallava Cave. And, where we ultimately end up, is back in a Gogo Go Forest. Look at that. This is a Gogo -Go Village. And a Gogo -Go Village specifically. Yeah, we've actually been in this we spot before. And boom! We ended up in the woods right smack dab next to it. I must be some kind of directional genius. Yeah, arrogant as always. Huh? Hey, isn't that your sister, March? You're right, it is! Yeah, Hi. there she is. Yeah, we haven't seen her since back in episode Sasa, 7. Home. Yeah, the twins are finally reunited. I'm glad to see you're okay. I know you're totally hopeless without me around, so I was a little worried about you. Oh, I'm sure you were. But goodness, I sure ran into a lot of trouble on this trip. First I was thrown in a scary dungeon, and then I climbed a frozen mountain. I'm telling you, it was a spectacle! A truly astoundingly big adventure! Uh, um, Salsa? 
more importantly, you should probably take a look at that. Take a look at what? What is it? What could possibly be more important than the story of my trip? Oh, believe me, this is more important. Oh my goodness. Take a look around. The agogos are glowing. In all the time I've lived here, I've never seen anything like that. And now you have. Yeah, they're all surrounding Miss Polka here. Yeah, remember about a glowing agogo saving Polka back in episode 7? It seems like something really has them all worked up. Well, that's what's happening here. This time I've got to take a picture of Oh, yes. Definitely, Beats. Do what you can. I think they're trying to tell us something. Just look at how excited they are. I guess they must be happy to see you again. I came to find However, the secret of the glowing agogos, but I never expected to find the place where they lived. Yeah, so guess who? On my side today. Now that I think about it, I never did check around here before. The monocled assassin. You again. Returns. Edward, do you know who this person is? All too well. He for no reason at all in a go-go forest. Did I really? I'm afraid I do tend to forget unimportant little details like that. Yeah, yeah, this guy's more arrogant than Salsa. But I have to tell you, today is not only my lucky day, it's all of yours as well. You're gonna kill, try and kill I me off again? I intended to take you all to Forte Castle. There you would have been made to suffer until you revealed the secret location of the glowing Agogos. But now that I know where they live, well... There's simply no need for extended torture. Yeah, he's gonna try and kill us for real this time. I'll just put you out of your misery right now. After all, we really have no need for you anymore. So now we're gonna fight Fugue again. But this time now we can actually damage the guy. Please don't give me a hard time. Huh? I'm supposed to fight this? Yeah, it's the rematch you've been waiting for. Fugue against our party. You peasants could never appreciate beauty of this kind. I wouldn't call this beautiful. I can hear Anything but. You know, freak of nature. Yeah, curse you for torturing me. Yeah, and as you may have noticed, I switched my cookie setup. From star cookies to snow puff cookies. And we also have an angel trumpet just in case we need it. Alright, go. Go, Polka, go. Pound this guy into submission. Get revenge on him for the torture that he put you through. Oh! Ow! And he gets another turn. Oh, and he's going to the back. Oh, hang on, Polka. Alright, Snowpuff Cookie, no choice. Snowpuff Cookie, no choice. Oh, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. Hello? Hi. Well, I would answer that right now, but you caught me in the middle of filming a YouTube video. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, that was my mother, by the way. Yeah, she decided she wanted to call me to ask me about what happened on Wednesday with my Twitch stream, which did not fare all so well. But, yeah, we, I gave her the assurance that I would call her later and I'm going to have to break the bad news to her, but... Yeah, now then, where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. Beating up you there, Mr. Fugue. Because your behavior is very deplorable. Go there, beat. Shoot from long distance and cause insane amounts of damage. Yeah, that is good damage. Alright, Frederick, go. Alright, this time I will be using Spirit's Pathway. Spirit's Pathway! Stay on that safe side. Gotta stay on that safe side when you're fighting an intimidating and powerful opponent such as Few. I mean, he is not to be taken lightly in a boss duel. I mean, when you're fighting him for real, of course, the first time we encountered him, we had to let him walk all over me. Ugh. For flowers to reflect in water, the water must be clean. 
Let's it! Ew, that did not. I was not able to save myself, and he gets to go again. Ah. Oh, save myself barely. Next time, no choice but to use Spirit's Pathway. Spirit's Once. Pathway. Twice. Spirit's pathway. Three Spirit's times. Pathway. Go. Yeah, thread the needle there, Beat. Shoot down, Mr. Few. And he's almost dead. Well, not dead, per se, but... He is going to get two turns again. Ow! Oh, we lost Frederick. Scroll all the way in the bottom. Throw him an angel trumpet. And now then, where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. Beating you up! Fire away their feet. Teach him a lesson. A death will not go unavenged, and we get the victory! Now that's how it's supposed to be! Indeed. So, by virtue of the victory, we get um, the Brigas Men, which is an accessory, the Torcarus, and Beat is now up to experience level 30. So, that takes care of Fugue for now. And we are now up to party level number 4. So, with we've been at party level 3 for quite some time, but we are now moving on to party level number 4, which means now we only get one second of tactical time. Um, we can still go to 4 seconds of um, time to make our actions, and we can still have 4 special abilities to d use. And now we get two additional things. We can counterattack if the ability, if the opportunity arises. The chances are low, though, so um, do take advantage of them when they are made available to you. And we also get harmony chains. And a harmony chain is when, um, as it's being demonstrated here and is being read here, when you get to 24 echoes, you can use a special ability. And then when a sign come up that comes up that says harmony chain, if you press R2, you can get be able to use the other ability that you have available to you. So definitely helps you to um, really build up some good damage if you get to 24 Echoes. Plus we are now up to 30 item slots, which is definitely helpful. Alright, so with that taken care of... Now if this was the Xbox 360 version, Fugue would have actually been dead at the end of this battle. But since this is the Please PS3 stop. version... If we keep on fighting each other like this, we'll never resolve anything. Maybe you have a point. Fine. I'll allow myself to be swayed by the beauty of your eyes, and I'll lower my blade. You sure talk good for someone who just got his butt kicked. Exactly. <laughs> be sure to keep yourself safe and sound until the next time we meet. Remember, that's all the time you've got left. Or so you hey, think. Wait. Yeah, Beast's like, let us finish you off. Well, he's sure good at running anyway. Hey, is everybody okay? Yeah, but that got pretty rough. Boca, you're not hurt, are you? No, I'm alright. Thank you. So in the meantime, Miss Rondo was watching from a distance. Hmm. So much for fugue. And why is that? But that young girl... The Agogos only seem to glow around her. Why? Who is she? Well, she ponders. <laughs> yeah, she just came to a realization. It's no wonder we couldn't find them all this time. It turns out that where they live isn't important at all. I think I'm starting to understand the so-called mystery of the glowing Agogos. Yes. It must be the girl. She's the key to everything. Yeah, an important discovery made by Rondo as we bring Chapter 4 to a close, with the glowing Agogos surrounding Miss Polka. So sorry, Fugue, but I'm going to get the credit for this one. And thus, Chapter 4 will soon be coming to a close. What that guy want, anyway? He said something about the secret of the Agogos. It didn't make any sense. Well, it does now. It sounded as though he wanted to find where the glowing agogos live. Yeah, exactly. Glowing agogos? Who ever heard of such a ridiculous thing? Well, you're seeing huh? it, though. Wait, 
You mean the Go-Go's don't usually glow? Of course they don't glow. Jeez, if you don't know that much, you're even more of a baby than I thought you were. Stupid salsa. Actually, I've been doing a little research about it, and I've made a rather interesting discovery. Oh, yeah? The first time you came into the forest, you saw an Agogo that was glowing. Isn't that what you told me? Yes, that's right. It was definitely glowing. What? Are you serious? I just can't believe it! The evidence is right in front of her in black and white and she can't even accept it. But when I looked into the tales passed down by previous forest guardians, I came across an old legend that talks about glowing agogos. A legend, huh? <laughs> you know, this is getting pretty exciting. It is, isn't it? Well, come on, tell us what it said. Right. Well, the legend went like this. Agogos are mirrors of the forest and mirrors of the heart. Reflecting the gleam of the shimmering jewel. When they glow, you will know the time has come. They shall become light that comforts the dearest wish of the maiden's tears. Hmm. Very interesting. But you don't seem at all concerned. What does all that mean? It means... I've got no clue. Of course, you've been wandering what? around getting mad. You were acting like you understood it. That's usually how she operates. Mirrors of the heart? The shimmering jewel? Yeah, remember a few episodes ago? Oh, did you yeah, it just realizes it Polka? just comes to the realization of this polka. The jewel it mentions. Could that be an Astra? Yes, I think it could. I thought of the same thing as a possible explanation. In other words, perhaps the glow of the Agogos is the light reflected from an Astra. Hold on! I always thought that Astras were just something out of a fairy tale. And if you thought are, that glowing Agogos were the I same way too before, didn't be you? It's shining pretty bright to reflect that much light. It's not so much the Agogos around us. As it is the ones around Polka that appear to glow. What? Well, now that you mention it... Well, it is true. Hmm. This makes me wonder all the more about that thug we encountered. And didn't we hear that Count Waltz is searching for glowing agogos? Yeah, I think the realization is coming up to them as well. Do you think maybe that guy could have been working for Count Waltz or something? Oh, no doubt. Possibility. After all, but it would help if you spell possibility correctly. More than going to Forte and asking to speak with the Count. This is starting to sound kind of dangerous. I don't want to leave March alone, so I think I'll keep an eye on things here for a while, okay? Actually, I'd really like to go and see my mom. Yeah, we're gonna start gonna breaking out the party for her. the time being. All right, then let's pick a time for us to meet up again on Retardando. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next chapter. Out there and see what's up. You never know. Reto might already be back there waiting by now. That's true. Then perhaps I'll go along with you, Beat. I must find Jazz, and Retardando is where he's likely to be. So before we bring Chapter Five, or rather Chapter Four, to a close. Look. We have a bit of a problem seat. to deal with that That's is unusual. still unresolved. This, this dove slash carrier pigeon. The one that Claves used there back in episode 28, her blood. final action before she died. We came across it in episode 37, and now it's going to reveal something to Prince Crescendo here in this episode that is going to really be quite devastating to him. This is a message, Prince, that you are not going to be happy to be reading. Uh, no. Well, he's just leading her on, but... Once he reads the message, he's not going to like what he sees. Serenade... ...is a spy for Forte. Your bride-to-be could very well kill you at a moment's notice, Prince. And you wouldn't even know it until now. So now the Prince's life is at danger.